Now, the show dedicated to rebuilding Washington, D.C.'s metropolitan housing and credit markets with the timely, trusted advice you need to make the right decisions. This is the Todd Laborowitz Show. Good afternoon. As your friend and host, Todd Laborowitz, I'm privileged to share every Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. with you on the Todd Laborowitz Show, which is part of the Real Estate Radio Network here on Salem Broadcast, WRC 1260 AM. And here with me now is Javier Golden. He's managing partner at the Golden Group. He's a graduate from George Washington University with an MBA degree in finance and investment, and he was financial policy chief at the Organization of American States, which is a large international organization headquartered in here in D.C. He's currently the managing partner of a CPA firm he set up eight years ago called The Golden Group. They specialize in serving the nonprofit market and the small to mid-sized business. And also looking him up on Google, he's got some great reviews. Here with us now is Javier Golden. Thank you. Thank you, Todd, for having me here. Great. Well, I'm really excited to have you here, and we want to get down to learning more about you, Javier. Is there anything about you that's unique, such as hobbies or organizations that you belong to? Yeah, I think uh, one of the first things would be to sort of dispel this idea that all CPAs are boring. <laughs> so I'll tell you uh, uh, some of the fun things that I do. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm big in sports and adrenaline rushes. And uh, I want to share with you that last summer I was in the Yucatan Peninsula uh, where we had a chance to swim with the whale sharks. Those are sharks that are about 20 feet in length, going to 60 feet. And luckily for all of us, they're all vegetarians, but it was lots of fun. <laughs> Very nice. You're wise. So you like the adrenaline rush? Yes, I must say I do. So has that always been going on or was it just from dealing with numbers all the time, you're like, I need something a little more exciting. I, and I think that the combination is what really does it. Uh, uh, at times one needs to be excited, at times one needs to be uh, calm. Uh, but, uh, you know, balance is the key, really. Very nice. Well, thanks for sharing with that with us. Um, now, getting down to business, uh, being a CPA, you do deal with a lot of good nonprofits and also small to mid-sized companies. But I want to get down into real estate because you cover a wide range of uh, tax information. Uh, so with real estate, I do have a couple questions for you. When a person goes from renting a house into purchasing a home, there's usually a benefit from a tax deduction from owning a home when the interest that they're currently paying. How does that affect their monthly cash flow? Sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Anybody asks that question. So thank you for putting it out there. So, so this is more or less how it works. So uh, when one rents a home, um, then for tax purposes, the rent payment is not deductible, meaning that whatever income one had, the, that serves as a tax base for the computation. If you earn $1,000 a year, then you'll be taxed on $1,000. When you own a home, on the other hand, and you have a mortgage, then part of the money that you pay for the mortgage, because it contains two elements, the principal and the interest, is deductible for tax purposes. So for example, again, if you earn $1,000 and say that you paid $100 throughout the year in your mortgage payments, and that all is interest, then the full 100 is deducted, and your new tax base is 1,000 less 100, 900. So in fact, you get a reduction in your taxes at the end of the year by virtue of owning a home. So how does that translate into real practical terms? Is that if your mortgage is $100 a year, you're really paying only, say, 90 or 80 depending upon your tax bracket. The cost to you is lower than the mortgage. So great. So if I'm currently renting for $1,000 a month and I go to someone like myself and say, I want to have a mortgage payment of $1,000 a month because that's what I, get, I can afford right now, they can actually afford more. Precisely, precisely. And how much more depends on your tax bracket. The many variables, you may be in a higher income, lower income, and then there's some deductions that are accepted, some that are not, but you got it just right. The, the net payment, the net cost to you when you have a mortgage is actually lower than the cash that you disperse on a monthly basis because your taxes at the end of the year get reduced. Okay, great. Thank you so much for making that clear. Now, moving on, every January, us at Topaz Mortgage, we send all to our clients that we've done a loan for for the previous year, 
uh, a copy of their settlement sheet and say, please give this to your CPA. Uh, I know it's important. I know it's needed. And the customers love that we do that. But exp what, what exactly are they doing? I've always been curious. I know it's a good thing to do, but I never heard it from sure, a CPA's point sure, of view. Sure, sure, Yeah, this is one of those acronyms that everybody throws around. Give me the HUD-1 and this HUD-2 and HUD-3 and, 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 uh, and nobody really knows what it is. So... So what is the HUD-1? So the HUD-1 is a form used by the settlement agent, also uh, called the closing agent, to itemize all the charges imposed upon a borrower and a seller for a real estate transaction. So it's a detailed listing, basically, of everything that just transpired. The cost of the home and all the other uh, items that were added to the cost. The commissions, the taxes, et cetera, et cetera. So what do CPAs uh, need that for and what do they do with it? Well, the tax law allows for certain items to be deducted and for others not to be deducted. So what this form does is that it allows us to pick out which of the items can be deducted for tax purposes and which ones cannot. And I may add that generally speaking, the items that can be deducted are the points, what they're called points, um, the interest and the taxes. So that's the use of the form. Okay, great. So they still have to talk to their CPA, but it uh, gives them a clear understanding of what's going on. I highly recommend it. And uh, uh, if they come to us, they, they will get an even clearer explanation. Perfect. <laughs> well, by the way, if you're just tuning in, I have with me here Javier Golden. He's managing partner at the Golden Group. And I am your host, Todd Laborowit, and you are listening to Salem Broadcast Network, WRC 1260 AM. Well, let's go move over to the nonprofit slash small to mid-sized business because there's a lot of homeowners out there and our listeners that have those types of businesses. You're talking about whether sh companies should have their financial technology to a cloud, uh, and you're actually becoming a strong expert in this field. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because my vision of a cloud is just an external hard drive somewhere. <laughs> right, 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 right. So the the cloud is a is a is a um, is an idea that it's it's uh, rarely clear. So cloud is basically anything that we access via the internet, and all of us at this stage access our phone communications via the internet, our bank via the internet, our mail via the internet. So we're all using the cloud in one way or another. What uh, our company has specialized in is in bringing to bear this new technology, this cloud technology to help uh, nonprofits and small businesses manage their finances better. So they're, 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 because of the, of the maturity of the technology nowadays, many small companies and nonprofits can derive tremendous benefits out of using this cloud technology available to all. Very good. Well, how, how can our listeners benefit from working with you with the cloud if they have future questions? Uh, so uh, our, our company, Golden Group, uh, will more than, more than happily uh, provide um, a free consultation to anybody who wants to uh, even go through the decision-making process of whether or not it's a good idea to outsource any of uh, your IT technology to the cloud. We'll do this um, complimentary. So by all means, give us a call or visit us at goldengroup.biz. That's great, Javier. Uh, what I'd like to do is offer our listeners the opportunity to meet with Javier Golden for a free consultation. Just call or text me, The Golden Group, at 301-467-8444. That number again is 301-467-8444. Well, Javier, I got one more question before you go because I know we're almost out of time. Is when someone buys a home... For the first year, they pay property taxes in full value. But after a year, they can apply for a Homestead Act so they can get a discount on that. When I refinance a client, there are people that have never applied for it, and they're paying this extra money for 5, 10, 6, 20 years. Sure, yes. This is one of the freebies that the states uh, actually give. And uh, yes, everybody's encouraged to look into it. What is the Homestead, uh, the Homestead uh, Act? is basically some sort of real estate relief law. And every state has its own variation, and there are time limits for the application every year. So by all means, go and see if you um, qualify, and if so, apply within the time limit. Great. I really do appreciate that, Javier. Javier Golden with Managing Partner of the Golden Group, sharing all his wealth of information. 
Well, coming up, we're going to have Jeff Wheatley, a real estate agent over here in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area with REMAX Realty Services, and he'll be sharing with us his secret tips on real estate in our area. We will be back after these few messages. Investors endured two devastating bear market corrections since the year 2000. Unfortunately, many people still haven't recovered from their losses, yet our clients tell a different story. I'm Jim Musgrave with Research Financial Strategies. For investments that make money in both bull and bear markets, call me at 301-588-0514 or visit jimmusgrave.com to learn how Research Financial Strategies can benefit you, your family, and your business. Can you afford not to?